In this video, you'll discover the perfect sales page template for a product with a low price point or a free trial. Hello, I'm Shane from Thrive Themes and once again, we're doing a sales page dissection. So this is a sales page template that's available right now in Thrive landing pages. But as usual, even if you don't use Thrive landing pages yourself, you can just look at this as a tutorial on how to put together a sales page like this. And also, like I said, the logic behind this sales page when you put this together was that this is for a low price product or a product with a free trial. And I'll get back to why that is in, in just a bit. But as usual, you can take this template and you can modify it any way you want to your own needs. So you can extend this, make it longer, use elements again, uh, add new elements and so on to make it your own and to adapt it to your own business purpose. So with that said, let's jump right in, take a look at this template and start from the top as usual. So at the very top, we have no surprise, a big fat headline, which is what should be at the top of every page. The headline should do one of two things. It should either right away explain what your unique selling point is, what is it, what it is that makes your offer different and better from other offers and from your competitors. Or it should be a curiosity arousing headline, meaning that the job of the headline is just to get people's attention and to get them to read more. All right, right after that, right below that, we have a highlighted section on the page where we talk about the product. We have a visual representation of the product. So that's either like an e-cover graphic or something that, that represents your product or an image that just makes sense there as a, as a visual cue, as, a, as an attention grabber, an eye-catching thing there. Then we have a, a subheading, some text, and then we have the first call to action button. And now here's where we should talk about the price point. Because if you have a low priced product or a product with a free trial, then it makes a lot of sense to show a button right here because the barrier of entry is low right so you've told people here's what makes our product better here's a picture of the product here's why it's awesome get it now and so if the barrier of entry is low if it's a free trial for example then you might have already convinced some people right they go oh this is exactly what i've been looking for click on the button they sign up and they get in your funnel and you start working on them so that they will upgrade to the paid version later or whatever it is right now if it's an expensive product then this is usually not a good idea. Now, this is just a rule of thumb, right? As always, these things, you should test them on your own side because you'll get different results in different businesses. But the, the logic behind this is that if it's a high priced product, it's a mistake to show the price too soon or talk about buying it too soon. Because what might happen is someone reads the headline, looks at this first bit, then clicks on the button, sees that, oh, this costs $120, that's too expensive for me and leaves before they actually know what the product really is. So to give you an example, in the Thrive Themes business itself, we have like mid-ranged prices, so we don't sell anything at extremely cheap rates because we emphasize quality and obviously that comes at a cost. And we get this sometimes, right? Where someone will send us a pre-sales message saying, oh, you know, this product looks okay, but it's too expensive. Can I get it cheaper somehow? And all we do is we actually just explain the same stuff that's explained on the sales page. So we'll send a message back saying, oh, you know, this product also does this and that, and it comes with these and th these and the other benefits. And then more often than not, the, the person who contacted us will go, oh, I didn't realize it did all that. Well, in that case, I'm going to buy it, right? So what happens is basically they just didn't watch the sales video. They didn't read the sales page. They, they just t took a quick look at it then scroll down to find the prices and decide that this is too expensive before they knew what the product was about. So to make a long story short, if your product price is high, you shouldn't encourage that behavior. It's going to happen anyway, but you shouldn't encourage it. So if the product price is high, what I'd use this button for is, for example, you know, see the demo video and they click on it and the demo video pops up or just remove the button and have them keep reading. All right, the next element on the page is what we call authority proof. And we just have an example of some logos here. And the idea is that there's one of two things you can do. One is you can list some logos of places where your business has been featured or where you have been featured and kind of borrow their authority or you can list the logos of some companies, some well-known companies who are your customers or clients. And this is just what we call authority proof. If people see some trusted brands or something they recognize and know, there you kind of borrow their authority and borrow the respect and trust people have there 
and use it for yourself. This would just be an image, by the way, and it, this doesn't have to be like internationally recognizable brands or anything. This can be, for example, maybe you were featured on a podcast or on a blog that's well known in your specific niche. So it might be something that 99% of people don't know about, but the people in your niche know about it. And that's where you can put their logo on there and people will recognize that. That can be very effective. In fact, that can be more effective than having some, you know, international brand or something that's actually unrelated to your business. And below that, we have a this is for you if section. And this is a great way to narrow in on your perfect customer. So the idea is here that you list a couple of points where you say, if you're this kind of person, or if this has happened to you recently, or if, if you have this problem, then this product is for you. What's very important here is that the mistake that is most typically made in a this is for you section is that you try to be too inclusive. And it ends up essentially saying, if you're a human being, this product is for you. Well, that, that doesn't help. That doesn't help anyone. You want to be very specific. This section should exclude a lot of people. It should say, hey, you know, this is not for you if you're not this kind of person. It should be very specific because the result of that will be that people read it and some of them will go, well, this is not me and they'll leave and that's fine. They weren't going to buy anyway. And some of them will go, oh my God, this is exactly me and you'll have won them over. So that's the goal of the this is for you section. Below that, we have a feature grid. And here, people always talk about using benefits instead of features, but this is a way to use features to your advantage. So the idea is, this is, I'm just going to assume features for now for a technical product that has features. The idea is that you list a lot of features because a lot of people won't actually read every single one and really think about what every single one means. But what's good is if you have more than 10, right? If you have more than 10 to list here is that it's just the effect of, wow, that's a lot. Okay. So think of it because each individual element is also carefully crafted. We have an image representing each feature. We have a little subheading for each one. We have a bit of text and this is where you talk about benefits, by the way, right? This is where you talk about why this feature is awesome and how it will improve your customer's life. So we do have these elements, but most people will not read all of these. The idea is to give for the whole section to give the impression, wow, there's a lot of features here. This comes with a lot. Now, for a non-technical product, this can also be the, you know, the chapters or the modules in your information product, for example, where you talk about each one. And again, the, the idea is just to show people, look at all this stuff you get, which is especially in combination with a low price, a low trial price or a free trial is like, oh my God, look at all this stuff I'm getting. I should sign up for this, which is why the next element is another call to purchase. So here we have a, just another visual representation, a bit of a headline that says, hey, get it now, get the benefit now, right? And then a big button that people can click on to start getting on your list, get start your trial, sign up for your product, whatever it is, right? So that's what we insert here before we go to a normal text section. So this is just like a very reusable section. We have a headline, we have a couple of paragraphs of text. And here you can use this to explain one of the main benefits of your product. You can use this to address an objection. This is the most flexible element on the page and you can reuse this again and again. So to explain as many things as you, uh, as you feel are necessary to explain about your product to make that sale. After that, we've got a couple of testimonials. And you know, once again, we have testimonials with an image of the person who gave the testimonial, a bit of a headline to highlight something, testimonial text itself and then the person who said it. So here we're showing some testimonials, some social proof to show people, hey, other people have bought this, they loved it, you should be one of them. The next bit is our largest buy this now section essentially. Here we have again a large visual representation of what you get. This is the what you get section. So the idea here is that, you ve that you're very explicit about what exactly does your customer get once they make this purchase or once they sign up. So this could be just a bit of text about it. It could also be a list of bullet points, you know, where you say, okay, you get, you know, these features or you get, um, you know, you get these modules, these chapters, this whatever personal coaching, this kind of support. You just are very clear about everything people get for the money you're asking. At this point, we've already done quite a lot of persuasion. So now we have two things that are kind of designed to push people off the fence, right? So people who are still on the fence, still not quite sure, trying to push them off the fence by 
um, adding a guarantee statement right below the purchase section. We add a guarantee statement, that's risk reversal. And then we have more testimonials. And here, by the way, is also a point where you can add a lot of testimonials. You might want to have five to 10 testimonials here if you have that many. Because once again, people won't necessarily read all of them, but just seeing all these different people who all have positive things to say about your product can help push people off that fence. All right, then we have an FAQ section. We've talked about this in previous videos as well. The idea here is that it gives you a compact way to address some objections people have, right? So anything that's still making people unsure, still preventing them from making that purchase decision, you can put in an FAQ section, doesn't take up too much space, doesn't distract too much, but people who have that specific question will be able to click on that. The toggle opens, you give them an answer, and that can, um, again, push them off the fence and make them make that buying decision. And then at the very end, we have one last reminder that says, hey, at this point, you know what this is about, you know you need this in your life, get it now. Okay, so you can see the different persuasion elements on this page and how they all fit together. And again, the, the thing we have here is that this, the entire page isn't very long, right? It's not a super long page, but it's still very persuasive. And we have frequent calls to purchase because for something like a free trial or a low price, you kind of want to catch people when they're ready to make that impulse decision almost, right? So instead of basically once you've, we have a few persuasion elements and then we say, hey, get it now. Because if they're ready to make that impulse purchase, that should be available for them right away before they start overthinking it and talk themselves out of it again, essentially, right? So that's the idea with having these frequent calls to purchase spread throughout the page. All right, so if you're a Thrive Landing Pages user, you can load this landing page right away and start working with it. And if you're not, you can use the strategy that was displayed here and use it in your own business anyway. So thank you for watching. And if you have any questions about this or if you have examples of how you've used this template, please leave a comment below and we'd love to hear from you. So thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.